Good day everyone, my name is Graphics. Now today we'll be looking at an aspect of technical drawing which is uh, development. Now if you look at this figure here, we are told to develop this figure. Given our main height of the cylinder, that means we are having a cylinder this way, right? And we now cut it at an angle of 45 degree, right? So. Let's draw this and see how it goes. So what you first of all do, like I always say, is that you draw an horizontal line this way. Draw an horizontal line this way. Draw an horizontal line this way. Right? And um, you draw a vertical line too. Like this. So this is the point here that we have our center point. Let's move further. There's our center point here. Are we good? We are about to draw this figure. Now we are told to start from the base, with the plan. We are told that the base is what? 50 millimeter, right? So you take your compass and you measure half of 50 which is 25 half of 50 which is 25 right so that will be 25 here one to this point so let's see this 25 here so you place it at the center here and you draw it you're taking it when you draw you're taking it right so with the same ridges, you place it at this point. Without adjusting your compass, you place it here, and you cut up. You come to this point too, where it meets here. You cut it up too, and you place it at the left hand side here. You cut here, and you cut here, right? So from here, Take your ruler and the point you mark on the circumference of the circle, you allow it pass through the center of the circle. So if I do it this way, I'll be having this. Can you see? I'll come here too. I'll be having this. I'll come here too. We have in this. I'll come here too. And we have in this. Right? So, what we have? So, I can usually call here to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. That's the first step you do. Now the next thing you do again is project it upward. So if I'm projecting it upward, like this, if I'm projecting it upward, from this here, I'm going to have, I'm projecting it upward, allowing your T-square should be to be at the base. So, so, I move it to this point. Also, I project it up. You can see. So, at any reasonable radius, at any convenient radius of yours, you move your T square above the circle and you tick in from this to this point. Can you see that? Now, I told you earlier that the height of this cylinder is 60. I'm going to measure 60 so I can take my compass, my size square, my ruler, and I'll place it here. This is 0, right, on the same line, and this is 60. Can you see that? So I'm going to thicken it. So I'm going to thicken it. 
from 60, take it back down. Can you see that? That is 60. So I can decide to measure from here to here is about 30. And I'll measure my 30 from this base here, which is here. Measure 30 upward. So I can measure 30 upward. So my zero here. To 30 upward here. Right? So I'm taking it. I'll take it. Right? So in doing that, I'm going to join from here to here. So I'm joining this from here to this point. Are we good? So, so now you're going to project all these points to touch this guy here. So let's start projecting from one. I'll move this to move up to touch this. Then I'll go to the next one to move up. Touch this. I'll go to the next one. This one's already there. To move up, touch this. Get the next one. To move up, to touch this. Get the next one. To move up, to touch this. Right? And the next step, place all those points upward. Mind you, your T square, your C square must be perpendicular, must be moving on your T square like this before you can do all these things. Right? And the next step we'll do is to project all these points here. So this is how I'm going about it. Right? So this is how I'm going about it. So this is how I'm going about it. So So let's start. So I'm projecting this point here. So I'll take my T square to this point. I'll draw my horizontal line and this faint line. Right? I'll move to the next guy too. So before I move to the next guy, I'll do it both up and down. This one too. I'll move it from this point straight down. So I'll show you what I'm doing now. So I move I've drawn my line. So I'm going to divide this line into the amount I divide the circle, which is twelve. So I'll take my compass and I'll take any of these two distances, either zero and one or one and two, any of these two distances, either this or this, any of them, right? Let's take this and then um, I'll come. I won't be close to this man here. I'll just give the space a little bit. So I'll come here and I'll mark. This is one. Hmm? Where this guy here? The shadow from the zero. Hmm? Or you can easily say, you just mark a point here. That is a point zero. Right? And you start from there with the radius of. 0 and 1, you start, this is 1, hmm? close this point here, this is 1, you start moving that way, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, then 6, then 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, then twelve. So move that to twelve points. So the twelve point. That's the first thing you do. So that's what I mean by saying twelve point. Look at it closely. So this is the twelve point here to the ending of this. So I'm going to mark it to that 12 points. 
So this is the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'll make it twelve. Now the next thing I will do. Next thing I will do is to project all my points up. Let's it this way and project all those points up. So from one, I will take it up. From two, I will take it up. From three, I will take it up. From four, take it up. So I will do that for every point. For every point. every point for every point for every point right so you continue doing that you are moving continue doing that for every point then eight right for every point Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right? So that's what you do for every point. Now, after you've done that for every point here, right? So the next thing you do here is you project from all these points to touch the last point here, like this. You move from here, you stretch your point to move and touch the last line. Come to the next one too, stretch your point to move and touch the last one. Move to the next one too, stretch your point to move and touch the last one. You come to this one too, stretch your point to move and touch the last one. You move this too, you move your point to move your point and touch the last one. Then from here too, remove your point, to move your point and touch the last one. I will good. So now, look at what I've got done here. I'm moving at this point, and I'm touching it here. You can see? So, now after you've, after you've done that, after you've done that, the next thing you do is that you start moving. This is zero. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm? I start by saying five, four, three, two, one. Zero. So let's see. This is when zero move. Zero move. I meet zero. Zero move from here, and it meets line zero here. Yeah. This is our first point, right? One moves. This is the line of one, and it moves to meet what line one at this point. Two moves to move meet the line of two. This is two here. Can you see two meet two? Three moves to meet the line of three here. Four moves. Four moves. Four moves. To meet the line of four. Yeah. The line of four is moving to meet line of four. Are we good? Then five two is going up. Yeah. To meet the line of five. At this point. Are we good? So. Six also, this is six, is moving up, this is where six is, and it's going to meet the line of six at this point here. So this process continues. Now the next one will go will be seven. So the next one will go will be seven. So continuously, the same thing happens there too. Seven, and... Um, I mean, 
move to the next one five seven and five on the same point this is five five so you continue following the same process and you're coming down like that you must not have any two points on the same line that okay you must not have any two points on the same line so from here so because what you need to understand is if one if zero is meeting zero here that again the same zero will go and meet zero here it's zero two same zero will go and meet zero here if one is meeting one here let me show you something if one hmm, is meeting one here the same one we're gonna meet the other one that we have here there's another one here too that will meet so you didn't then simultaneously at the end of the day you have a curve use a french curve we are going to join from here you join from here this is a French cover and you join this. So you join this. And go through all the points. Right? And you take your rule. You join here to here. And then... Um, Take your rule also. You join here to here. And you connect the base down to the beginning. So, this is the development. So, the development here. Hmm? So, thank you very much. successfully developed this circle into this here. Yeah.